Hello guys, Robert here. Welcome back to another video. Now look, if y'all seen my last video, y'all y'all know what what my situation is. But so far, so far it's going good. It's morning. The raining stopped. The, we finally got some to freaking clog down the. I had to freaking stop the damn water last night. Now we're just trying to figure out and just put stuff back and shit. Uh, which, which this is probably going to take probably the majority of the day. More, more than likely. Uh, <laughs> but, but anyway, I really wanted to talk about this. Especially yesterday since like the, 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 the trailer was shown and at this point there's a, there's a bunch of... There's probably already like a bunch of videos of, of the trailer already. And that is the High School DXD Season 4. Season 4 Hero Announcement trailer. Or just a trailer. And it's it's supposed to reveal... Now, it is confirmed that Season 4 will be coming out in 2018. Which I'm so excited. I'm really excited for and what and I'm gonna tell you all my I'm gonna be telling you all my thoughts on on the trailer and what uh what I'm basically expecting in season four. Now and I know someone else already made this because he's a huge DA DXD fan. He he loves the show to death and he makes like videos like on the shit like almost every freaking day or just uh, basically about every week really. Hex competitive. He's a really cool guy. I actually seen his videos a lot. It's it's mostly high high school DXD related. And I seen his my girl my first girlfriend the gal re re reviews. Just he's a really cool reviewer. And I just and just I I I just found I just basically found like the biggest high school D DXD fan on YouTube. <laughs> but anyway, high school DXD season four. What I'm looking forward to, though, and one of my thoughts on the trailer, I'm going to talk about, like, my, my thoughts on the trailer. It is, you can already tell, there is a drastic difference of the art style. Like, that, I think that's what we should talk about first. The art style to, like, season four, if you know about the light novel and stuff, it, it has the same exact art style as, like, the, at least, like, the covers of the light novel. Because the light novel has, you know, it, it's it's art style. It, it's stylized the way the season four looks like it's gonna be. It's literally gonna be stylized the way the light novels are basically stylized on the covers. And basically, and I heard there are some manga panels from the light novels at times. I have no idea. Cause I actually looked at some manga panels uh, on on Google Images on. High High School DxD manga, and there are manga images, so there are gonna be like that. So I think that's what a lot of PP people should really understand that this really this is kind of going straight to the source material. This isn't really betraying the exact uh, because pe people were mad about season three. People, I think it's most 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 because of how it was way too serious. But to be honest, I feel like High School DxD was pretty serious. I thought it really, really was a good season. But here I found out that the last three episodes were not canon. Like, they were just the studio's own way of ending season three. And to be honest, it didn't really kind of... It, it's, it was supposed to be following its, you know, the storyline of, of the actual light novel. But they didn't add in. A lot of stuff. I'm saying like, bitch, please, really? So, so you're telling me that they wasted and didn't put in a lot of de detail from all these episodes that were in the light novel that I didn't make into the anime, but and and so then, what? Like, why can't you just have like two episodes of like, I don't know, some sort of a recuperation or how Easy's gonna like, I don't know, try to figure out Juggernaut Drive or some shit and. And maybe in those episodes, you could have added in like the, sh the, the gruesome shit that was in the light novel that Issei did when he went Juggernaut Drive. I'm just saying. I I, I just needed to get that out. But uh, 
here's the thing. The, the trailer, though, I gotta admit, the animation's looking on fleek. Like when, especially the parts where Issei is in his balance breaker in the, in, in the trailer. Uh, Issei looks completely fine. I, I feel like I feel like there's barely any dead dead difference except for like the art style between them. But when you look at the other characters, there are there is a drastic difference. Rias, Rias, Akino, Kiba, Konako, Zenobia, Azia. Like there's a major difference. But the thing is, for some reason, they all. And even in the trailer, there are times where it looks somewhat like the the original art style. You know, the art style that that, that we got back in the third season, because because you look and can compare the art style from season three to season one, there is a major dead difference. You 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 gotta admit that. Um, but when you but it sometimes looks somewhat like um how season three looked which looked pretty damn good it's just it's original light novel ish style style it, it so i'm pretty sure by the time like after like maybe one or two episodes i'll be fine i i, I think i think we'll all like go I, I think we'll all like get you know just go along with it and everything will be just fine like every other art style out there, like we got used to Dragon Ball Super's crap, crappy art, art and anime and animation. The first two arcs, so why not? But anyway, I gotta and also the uh, about like what the arcs are gonna be in. It looks like we might we might be going into a ratings game arc, but I'm not sure. And besides, since we haven't had a rate ratings game since since like back in season one. I feel like we're going to get that again in this season. Because that, that's what it's looked like. Because Issei's fighting somebody in like some sort of Coliseum or some shit. Maybe it's a tour tournament arc. I have no idea. Because again, I've not I've not read the light novel. and But I do know about like story arcs that happen. And I heard that at, at sooner or later we are going to be getting close to another ratings game arc. And it, I, heard, I heard it's pretty freaking lit. And, and it'd be kind of interesting too. Because... The last rating game, we didn't have Zenobia, we did not have Gasper, we didn't have Irene, and we didn't have Rosa, Rosa Wise. So seeing them with the with 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 the characters in a raid ratings game, you gotta admit that's that, that, that's gonna be interesting as hell. Cause the way Reyes planned shit in, <sighs> yeah. And, oh, okay, back to what I was saying, because I had to go and, like, put my food in the oven real quick. Um, the freaking again, it'd be interesting, because I really want to see more of Rias' strategic tactics. Because we never really get, we never really got to see that a lot. We only got to, got to see that in Season 1, though. I mean, yeah, she has always been a strong... And just well done main main heroine, but I really want to see more of that Rias that we knew from season one because I really like that mysterious part of her and what makes her scary and powerful because that's just what I feel like that Rias is. The thing is, we only got like we actually got a glimpse of her full power of when she gets really pissed off. In season three, we barely got a glimpse of that. I feel like that—that's just foreshadowing of what she's really capable of. 
So I'm expecting that we might get that Reyes in season season four, or possibly even the next season. Because there is a plant season five after this one is made. So again, a ratings game arc that might be that might be, that might be the case here. And and also judging from the announcement trailer that came out last uh, December, um, it shows Irene clinging on to Issei in the snow. And I heard there's an actual arc where it had where it has some some to deal with some you know some holy stuff you know some involving them with I I Irene. And I feel like that. I feel like that that's definitely going to be happening in this season. We're actually going to be getting, getting, getting her own character arc, and and we, we may actually get a glimpse of Heaven, where uh, Michael is always at. So if we actually get to see that, that'd be a pretty nice bonus. Um, I, mean, I mean, we got to see the Underworld last season, so we might as well get to, get to see he Heaven, and hopefully... And hopefully, by probably like around this season or next season, we actually get a glimpse of a, uh, you know, you know, the fallen, you know, the fallen a angels places and shit, you know, you know their, you know their world. It, so yeah, I'm pretty excited for season four. And again, the art style definitely dead different, but but I think we'll all get used to it because it is supposed to. You know, go with the light novels, and the thing is, and the thing is, the actual studio behind season four, because it isn't by the same studio anymore. It was because the original author of High School DxD did not agree with what how the way that they ended season three. And to be honest, I can kind of agree with some of the, with, with him and the people people that didn't like the ending to season three. Because again, the ending to season three really like it. It's not. It, it, it's non. It's non canon. And to be honest, like so that means that Rias and Issei kiss at the end did not make a damn like a damn sense. And that and it's a bit more of a stab in the back, really, because because Issei and Rias don't remember what happened in the dimensional gap. That was a huge slap in the damn face. So yeah. Yeah, that that really pissed me off. But, but thank God, and so that so in the studio that actually has read the light novel and know what they're doing, they're they're also gonna be you know stylizing the way the light 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 novel is, and I, and I and I like that. I, I like it when so when when a studio is so dedicated to the original source material, they really want to adapt it the way it should be. So so they might actually put put in. To like actual detail, mm. like I'm talking about, like almost every d detail from the light novel in, in into season four. It, it it's a possibility. I I really don't think it's a budget thing. I I really I really don't. Cause I feel like cause I feel like they're really dedicated to being an actual adaptation of the light novel. I mean, I'm talking about a hundred percent. So. So I mean I got no problems with it. I don't got no problems with uh, a series looking different than like its original source material. I, I just don't care. As long as the series is good, but I, I'm I'm happy. So, um, but what also do I think about the trailer though? Uh, we do get to see a scene where you get a clip where he says. You know, being cuddled by all the, you know, basically the four main girls of the series, you know, Kaneko, Akino, Azia, Rias. Like, like Rias just jump, just barges in and just jumps on everybody and, and cuddling him and everything. You know, just classic high school DxD shit. And it's, you know, Issei's enjoying that shit. Eric, you all know Issei's enjoying that shit. But yeah, like, I. I, I cannot actually wait to actually watch that scene, especially in the dub, because to be honest, I really love the dub to a high high school DxD, uh, because I just feel like it's very spot on, and it and it does not hold any plot pun, it does not hold any punches. Like Issei's voice actor, regardless of Scott Freeman, Scott Freeman or the other voice actor, uh, that's what I voice Issei in season three. Issei, the the lines that they give Issei is is spot on with his character. I, I just I, I just love it. It's it's a 
So yeah, I'm really excited. The trailer, the trailer four is pretty cool. We actually got like a glimpse of another character who looks like he should belong in Bleach. <laughs> it's the guy at the end of the trailer, and he he definitely looks like he definitely looks like somebody that that belongs in Bleach. I, I'm sorry, but he definitely looks like it. But but the way his weapon though, he it looks like a mix of a staff with a whole holy sword, or it might actually be a whole, whole holy sword, but a staff. Maybe maybe he's part of Vol Vol Volley's team or somehow related to to like that one to, to that one guy who look who can who can use the fly Nimbus. <laughs> I I forgot I forgot his name by the way. But again, like it, I, I'm kind of interested on who that guy is, and more than likely he's gonna be e either he's more likely gonna be either the main villain of, of the of of the story arc in this entire season. Or might, or or he might actually be, you know, I don't know. There's somebody that we can look forward to. That's, uh, I don't know. More than likely, he's going to be the main antagonist. So I'm, so hopefully, like, so hopefully, we might actually uh, see like how how this guy really is and how he pins up against Issei. Plus that rumor that was going on really about the whole time travel thing in season four with Loki messed with time and it's Issei's children that come back to help him out and everything. I'm just sitting here like, now that I've seen this trailer, I'm sitting here like, that shit's not possible. Like, like there's like there's no way that that is possible at this point. So yeah, that shit is thrown out the window, judging from this trailer. But then again, the arc could ha happen anyway, probably around the end of the season. And maybe like, like, like the trailer does shit from like much later on. I have no idea. Because we're supposed to get him with some more Loki a a anyway, because right? because involve Volume Seven, Volley it Volley is, is supposed to fight Loki. L Volley is supposed to fight fucking Loki. So, which is where which is which is the volume that High School DxD Season Three left off. So, are we really gonna get Volley versus Loki in Season in Season Four right around the beginning? We may, we may, I, I don't know, it, it's hard to, it's hard to actually know, and I think, we, it's hard, it's hard to know if they're actually going to put that, but more likely because they're so dedicated and how much it looks just like the light no novel from, from the trailer, I'm feeling like that it's, there are, they are going to put it in it, and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wondering how it's going to be handled, though. Anyway, by the time season four come comes out, at least subbed, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna watch and then give y'all my thoughts. Cause high school DXD is my shit, boy. <laughs> I got I, I got into it the year that season three came out, and to be honest, when I binge watched it, it it, it just the series just blew my mind. I just love it overall. But anyway, those are my thoughts on the trailer and my expectations for season four. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Like the video if y'all enjoyed it. Subscribe if y'all want to see more. Comment below what y'all think. And if y'all new to the channel y'all want to see more, be sure to subscribe for more. And get out if you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see y'all when uh, 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 some more news of DXD comes out. And, uh, and so on. Because I've been waiting for season three. For not season three. Season four for a good long while. Like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be three freaking years when that comes out and I I, I just cannot wait.